Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today, I'm going to be doing a workspace tour. So let's get started. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the general furniture. We have two desks side by side, one for our computer and one for my art station. And these are just Ikea Miki desks. Um, they're really inexpensive. They come with a drawer, so they're pretty good. Um, especially for a starter, it doesn't have a tilt, but it works great. For the lamps, I have a regular desk lamp from also Ikea over here. I don't really know the name of it. And then recently I purchased this um, desk lamp also from Ikea, which was slightly more expensive. The only problem with this one is the base is so big. It just throws everything off on my desk. I wish the base was a bit smaller, but it's a directional light. So it works out really well. If you're wondering about this ugly tape around both of the lamps, it's so that I can, um, dim the light a little bit. So it's not so harsh on my videos. I actually just did a DIY thing where I took some marker paper, cut it in a circle and then use masking tape to tape it over the lamp. So that's how I soften my lights. I actually used to use two of this light before I got one of these. And actually now this one is pretty much good enough for just the whole video, uh, especially since I have a stronger bulb inside here. On top of the desk, I have this clear plastic sheet that you can also get from Ikea. It's like a dust protector. They usually sell on the end caps and it's super useful because while I'm working, I often get like watercolor and marker inks on my desk. So since it's on a plastic sheet, I can just wipe it off with rubbing alcohol or water and it keeps my desk clean longer and looks nice. Underneath the plastic sheet, I have this lace, this black lace. I bought this when I was back in America and I used to use this for um, Artist Alley conventions. Um, for my table display and I just really wanted to continue to use it since it it was a little expensive and I still think it's really pretty so when I moved here I had my sister mail this to me so um, I could put it on my desk it's actually six foot long so I have the excess bunched in the side and in the back you can kind of see it's bunched back there because I didn't really want to cut it yet I don't know if I'll get a different desk so um, I thought I'd just leave it like that and I thought it looks really pretty it gives my desk a little bit of a flare which I like one of the main features of my desk right now is this acrylic storage unit for my Copic markers I bought this from a store called Muji and it's probably sold for like um, beauty things or kitchen things I'm not really sure but it just has four pull-out drawers and it works super well for my markers I can put two rows of markers in each tray. So I sorted them by color so it's easier to find them all. And in the bottom I have a little secret, which is I have some extra HB pencils and my rubber eraser here because this drawer is a little small. And yeah, it's really convenient that way. I really love this setup. It's so easy to take them out and they can lay flat like they should be. So I have a lot less flow issues. I used to have them sitting, standing up in a basket like this. And I had a lot of flow issues when it was in there. So on top of my marker display, I have some dolls. And this has just kind of exploded a bit. I originally just put the Rochelle up here after I opened her up. And then more dolls seem to just join. <laughs> so see, these are just some of my favorites. And this little box right here is actually a keepsake from my mother who passed away. So. I keep her nearby while I'm drawing every day. Over here, I have my pencil case and my wrist brace is always nearby, just in case my wrist starts to hurt. Inside the pencil case, I keep my little Sailor Moon figure, so cute. Um, a ruler from Daiso. Let me get closer. Scissors. Um, pens, pencils, my pen holders. These are all the white gel pens and a Wink of Stella glitter pen, the Copic Multiliner Copic drawing pen, and um, some click erasers and a razor blade. So yeah, these are all my 
must-haves nearby, the things that I reach for the most. And the containers from Daiso. Over here is where I keep all of my watercolor supplies or as much as I can fit. So this basket is from Daiso. I have some um, masking tape, a spray bottle for water, which I also got from Daiso, the rubbing alcohol, which I use to clean up for the Copic markers and also for um, India ink. It also does a really good job of cleaning that up most of the time. And uh, inside is like, the kitchen sponge that I massacred, <laughs> um, various watercolors, uh, my new Daniel Smith, and my new Fine Techs, the new gouache, um, some palettes. This palette I will be using for my gouache, or no, I will be using this for my Daniel Smith. I have another one for gouache. Um, my Fine Tech uh, gold colors. This is the palette I use currently for my schminky set, if I can get it open with one hand. So I put my schminky colors in there to dry so I can use them easily. And here is my schminky set. I hope I'm saying that wrong, right by the way. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong. This is a really lovely set. It is expensive, but I'm really glad I have it because I've learned a lot. And I also have a Wheeler Rowney Designer Squash White in here, which I've been using for white gouache. And then the last thing in the basket is my uh, Prismacolor watercolor pencil tin, which also has a few ink tents inside. And I put a little chart above so I can see what the colors are. The other thing in here is my brushes. So I have two extra cups down below because I take these out and I fill them with water when I'm doing watercolor. There's actually a little bit of water <laughs> inside right now. Um, and these are all of my brushes. I have inexpensive brushes that I started out with which are actually really good. These are the Princeton and company brushes that I think I got from AC Moore, really inexpensive in a set. Um, and then they have also, uh, sorry, Princeton and Co for the flats, I believe, the Inglewood brush. They're really good. And then I have my water brushes. This is for gouache. Um, my new Princeton Neptune brushes, uh, the Daiso brushes. So every brush. I use I keep in here so it's easy to grab so in front here this isn't usually where this sits but I would have them out so this is my um, pen cleaner which you can also use rubbing alcohol sometimes but the pen cleaner is good um, this is my dr. peach Martin sepia ink which I keep in another jar I got this jar from art friend it was only two dollars and it's a lot easier to use for dipping so I keep them in there and this jar I got from Daiso originally wanting to put ink in it, but it was way too big. And luckily I found a smaller one. And inside here I have my black ink jar. Dr. Peach Martin's um, Bombay ink goes in here. It's the same jar. And my extra nibs, well, I shouldn't say extra. These are the nibs I'm using right now. So I have four types that I use. And I go between these a lot. So probably my favorite is this one because it glides on the paper really, really easily. And then I also really like the Maru pen, which is just super great for small details, but can be a little draggy on the paper. And then I use these two sometimes, but honestly, I don't use them as much. This is the G pen, and I think this one's the school pen. It's like similar to the G pen, but just smaller. So those are the four nibs that I use. Next, I'll show you under my desk. Oops. So under my desk, I'm an adult, so I have a really adult thing, which is a Monster High trash can. <laughs> Yay, adulting. And over here, um, this is my kind of solution because my space is just so small. 
So I have a basket on top here and I pull this out when I need something extra. So inside the basket is all kinds of extra things that I just don't have space for. I have um, two extra palettes, which currently have a little bit of paint in them, but I'm hoping to empty these soon. Inside here is the bottle for my um, PH Martin's Bombay ink. As you can see, this is really difficult. You can't dip because there's a uh, dropper in the way. So that's why I use an extra bottle for that. Um, my deleter ink. Some deco tape. My Winsor & Newton inks. Uh, my new masking fluid. Some more deco tape, some more deco tape. This is the sepia ink that I was talking about, the original bottle. Um, this is the ink that I used when I first started out with India ink. It's inexpensive, but it lasts me for a long time. The only problem with this ink is it smells kind of funky and it does smear easier than the PH Martin's ink does. And this is something I probably should throw away, but I guess I'm a hoarder. <laughs> this is my old pen cleaner, which is pretty good. I've had this forever and the bottom turned into sludge, but it still kind of works. And my new pen white is in here as well. Inside this basket, by the way, this basket is from Daiso. And inside the basket is another little like organizing tray also from Daiso. And behind that I have my um, Daiso watercolors. Go back down. The cool erase pencils, the very thin pencils, and an empty case for my um, polychromos pencils. So yeah, this is where I keep my extra things that I don't grab for as often. Um, things that I already have the other ones for. I actually usually keep this in here as well. And I skipped over this, but this is my, my Derwent battery operated pencil sharpener. And I love this thing so much. It makes using Prismacolor pencils so much easier. They break so much less since I started using this. And it just, it turns sharpening pencils to from a chore into like something really easy that you can do often. So I love this thing. And I usually actually keep this in here. That was until I recently bought a bunch of stuff and I can't fit anything in here anymore. So I keep it on the desk now. So yeah, um, the basket is a really good, Sorry, that's me pushing my chair out. The basket is a really good solution for not having as much space for storage or on my desk. And underneath the basket, I have a bunch of paper, um, watercolor, mixed media, toned tan paper, Bristol board, and then like this has like a bunch of drawings in them. This is my hammer mill co color copy, 100 pound, I think it is, paper. I forget what it's called. It's the one that Bailey J had talked about that I bought it. And it's in a paper tray from Daiso, which is very hard to see and it's very heavy, so I'm not gonna pick it up, sorry. <laughs> and underneath that is my um, older camera. It's like a nicer, higher end camera that I would have liked to use for my videos, but it was just too heavy for anything I had tripod wise. So I'm using my phone instead. Here is my desktop easel, which I keep on the side here so I can grab out anytime. And my A3 hot press dealer brownie paper. So yeah, that is how I organize down below. And there's actually a few more things that don't fit in here now. But it has been a pretty good solution for keeping a lot of stuff that just can't fit up here. So inside my drawer is really, really packed. In fact, I have abused this drawer so much that it has broken. The base actually sags out and there's a hole in the back. And sorry if you heard that noise, that's my chair. I'm just leaning back. Um, so on top, we have, this is um, my light box. I keep current drawings and charts in here so they're easy to grab. Um, I just put the current drawings in there because I'm lazy and it's flat so it'll stay safe. There's my light box and more charts and my my color wheel and a large stencil goes in here. And this is like, it, the light box came in this plasticky sheet, so I just keep it in there so it doesn't scratch or have any problems. Underneath that, I have a basket that's just 
These are like life drawings, but <laughs> I have a basket that's just full of random paper, scrap paper, um, drawings, that kind of stuff. And the, the basket is from Daiso as well. Uh, it's very messy in here, sorry about that. This is my clipboard, which I use sometimes with loose leaf paper. But I move all that out of the way. This is my basket, which you've probably seen in videos uh, with my color pencils inside. Since I purchased a bunch more items recently, they just barely fit in there. Like, I don't know really what to do for storage because that is crazy. So I bring that out when I want to use my color pencils and I put it back to get it out of the way. And the rest of the stuff in my drawer is very miscellaneous. Some extra pencils, extra color pencils, the cheap art supply color pencils, an old receipt, uh, a, what are these called, like a box cutter, extra rubber bands, earphones, and you know they're mine because there's an ink blotch on it for no reason. <laughs> um, this is a pencil case where I keep all the small loose bits like Copic nib refills and um, eraser refills, that kind of thing. Also extra nibs for my pen holder, uh, a tone Hera, this is eraser refills. So all kinds of boring stuff is in there, just extra refills and stuff. And as you can see here, this is what I'm talking about. My, my drawer has sagged under the weight of all this paper. <laughs> um, and here's something I, I like to have these kind of things on hand, but I don't use them often. It's the Faber-Castell soft pastels. Um, they're, they're like chalk pastels. They're nice sometimes, but I don't use it often, so I keep it in my drawer here. And they're inexpensive. I like to have that kind of thing. So as you can kind of guess, I've thoroughly outgrown my desk. So I'm hoping to upgrade sometime soon or find a storage solution. And I'm actually making this video because we may be planning to buy a new desk and some new storage soon. So that is the inside of my desk. Then over here, this is the computer area, which is mostly my husband's domain. He spends most of his time here and I just use it for editing um, and checking things. He built this computer. Um, right here is what I use to record my videos. It's actually a mic stand and on top of the mic stand is a like a I think they call like a lazy clip that I got from Q10. It's like a China product. You just clip your phone here. So I clip my phone here and record down and it was a very good solution for me because my husband already had the mic stand and the clip was like I don't know five dollars it was crazy cheap and I already had a phone so that's how I record currently and over here is the mic that I use for um, voiceovers right now Cine Hauser I hope I'm saying that right and again I use this because we already had it this is my husband's mic um, and I use this to record my voiceover and I plug it into this audio interface, which is also my husband. So it works out for me because it was free for me and it does have a really decent quality. So hopefully my voiceover sound good now because I'm using a professional microphone. <laughs> and over here is the last area of my current desk setup. <clears throat> this is just a, I think it's called Collax. Um, shelving unit. I have a bunch of my dolls up here and down here. These are just a small amount of my collection that I just display so I have some inspiration and they just take over as you can see they're everywhere. <laughs> we have an Epson printer and I have some art books here as well for inspiration kind of close by. Down here is my scanner. I have a uh, Epson Perfection V33 and although it's not really good for my scanner, I currently have a bunch of paper on top because I have nowhere to store any of this paper. And on top of that is my old Copic marker basket with my Copic marker refills inside. I don't have too many refills, but um, so far these are the ones I've needed. I just buy them as I need them. And down here is an empty um, cubby where my cat usually sleeps, but she's awake right now, so. <laughs> 
so cute. And this is the last area. This is where I keep a lot of the extra stuff I don't need all the time. So some extra Bristol board paper. Oops, my hands are my From Strathmore, the canvas that I bought for my cheap art supply challenge that I don't use. This is a bamboo fun. Um, I bought this for probably like $70 quite a few years ago to, to try to learn digital art and it's just not working because I just can't seem to get it. Over here is some marker paper and these are folders with old drawings inside. So if you guys ever want to see a tour of my old drawings, let me know. I have lots to share. And that's pretty much it. That is my workspace tour. I hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below to let me know. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. I post art videos every week. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye. And I used the last of the one purple I had. Luckily, later on I find out I have more purple that's very similar. So I was able to make her hair.